Welcome back, I'm Brick Road, and this is Let's Play Mega Man X4. Tonight's opponent, Web Spider. Spider's level is straight up classic Mega Man. Equal parts, platforms, and bad guys. No gimmicks, no malarkey, just solid level design and lots of stuff to blow up. The opening area to the jungle is one of the most beautiful in the X series. It's really a shame that the stage is so quick to trade the pristine, rainbow-filled river section for the bland cave areas, because honestly, I could have done with a whole level of these visuals. Actually, the graphics in X4 are my favorite in the series. Previous X games were on the SNES, and therefore not as detailed, while later games look really grainy and washed out. Truth is, even the boring parts of X4 are a step above what Mega Man games typically look like. I have a theory about that, actually. X4 was the first X game on the PlayStation, so a lot of care probably went into making the game look and feel like it belonged on the new, more powerful platform. You can see this not only in the backgrounds and sprite animations, but the anime cutscenes as well. For X5, though, they knew they already had their built-in market hooked, so that drive to really make the graphics sizzle probably wasn't there. Some of the Mavericks in X5 and X6 have so few frames of animation, it's amazing they made it past QA. In case you hadn't noticed, the theme of this level is surprise hits. Whether it's fish popping out of holes or reptile guys jumping and shooting spinities at you, there's a lot of opportunity to take damage unexpectedly. The worst part of the level is long behind me, with the rolling logs in the cavern. Taking a hit in that section usually eats up Zero's recovery, leaving him helpless to save himself from plummeting into the pit. I've lost a lot of lives in that section over the years. The snakes in the jungle section are another enemy Zero has a very subtle advantage over compared to X. You can't duck in this game, and the snakes are too low to the ground for X to shoot, so he needs a super shot to hit them. Zero, on the other hand, can simply slash them from either a standing or a jumping position. There are parts of the level where the snake population can get overwhelming. Zero just zips past these areas, while X would end up sucking down a lot of damage, desperately trying to charge his gun. For some reason, I always get to this point and remember the fire attack being a good thing to use against the Robo Beehives, but as you can see, that just results in me taking a hit more often than not. You still don't want to come here without the fire attack, though. The last portion of the level has wooden tree trunks you can burn in order to skip some particularly annoying snake and spider sections. Not only that, but the level's heart tank is hidden inside one such tree trunk. If you have no way to burn it, you're just going to be coming back here anyway. Truth is, if you can nail some of the trickier jumps without Kuinbu, the Fire Slash is the only technique Zero needs to find hidden items. There's the heart in this stage, and then something else in Frost Walruses, uh, which is why these bosses come at the end of my rotation and not the beginning. Which is a little wacky, given that many players start with one of these two Mavericks, but such is my deep, passionate hatred of replaying Mega Man stages. Web Spider is by no means a difficult boss. He's often suggested as the first one a new player ought to take down. Nonetheless, I usually manage to take a lot of damage while fighting him. The first stage of the fight is easy enough. You just want to avoid the lightning webs by dash jumping or double jumping over them. If one snares you, you'll be frozen in midair, giving Spider the opportunity to come down and crash into you. This often happens to me when I try to get fancy and sneak in three hits per cycle instead of the requisite two. Play it safe, wait out Spider's invincibility frame, somewhere his next web will be easy to dodge. It's kind of a long, boring fight, but getting frozen doesn't do anything to shorten it, and would just make me look stupid. Stupider. Yeah. Once you get Spider down past the 50% mark, he goes into the second stage. He creates one giant web in the middle of the screen and climbs around on it. He still shoots lightning webs, but he also spawns swarms of little crawly bastards to sit on the ground and make sure there's nowhere safe to land. Zero's got to get close to hit Spider, and Spider is relatively fast. He doesn't give any indication when he's about to randomly change directions. Translation, this is where I take a lot of my hits. If this had been his attack pattern from the start of the fight, he'd be one of the harder bosses in the game. As it is, he doesn't start playing to win until he's almost dead anyway, so I can just trade him hits if I have to. X gets the lightning web from this boss, which allows him to make temporary walls to kick off of, the functional equivalent of Zero's double jump. Zero, on the other hand, gets raging, uh, Rager Gek... Rager... He gets the Lightning Spear. Which is a standing attack that takes way too long to execute and is therefore almost never useful. See you next time!